Good evening. I'm Marvin Bartlett. And I'm Imani Payne. Thanks for joining us. Lawmakers entering the second day of a special session to help Eastern Kentucky. As Bodie Brooks reports, the process is inching along slowly, but today more help was announced to directly help flood victims. Bodie. Marvin, Imani, lawmakers are not expected to pass this bill until tomorrow. That will be the $212 million relief bill for Eastern Kentucky. But most of that money will be going to cities, counties, school districts, and other agencies for their repairs. So what about the millions of dollars that have been donated? Well, today, Governor Bashir announced where the next chunk of that money will be spent. These are ways that we can help get you back on your feet. As we wait for the state's relief bill to make it to the governor's desk, more than $8 million of donated money is also on the table. If you've qualified for FEMA assistance, we're going to work to get each of those individuals or families an extra $500 in the coming weeks. No additional applications are needed. The cost will take up nearly half of the donations, which Bashir says are far behind where they were after the West Kentucky tornadoes. A little extra help for a region frustrated by FEMA. And listen. FEMA's got to do better, but they are doing better. Uh, since we started talking about the need to change culture, we've gone from about 37% approval to what now over 50%. We need to do better than 50%. But to address the more immediate needs, the governor encouraging storm victims to get in the state safety net. Disaster unemployment and SNAP benefits are now available. If we get you in those programs, it means you're not as worried about trying to get X hundred dollars from this charitable group or that charitable group from week to week. This is part of stabilizing our people. And the governor promising the state of emergency will continue. And this short-term relief won't be the only help from the state. What's in the, the EK SAFE, the Eastern Kentucky legislation that's going through, th those aren't going to be the only things that we can do. So some of these disaster assistance programs do have deadlines. Now, Disaster SNAP only launched yesterday, but disaster unemployment assistance, those applications need to be in by September 6th. Marvin, Imani. Cody, and you know, there have also been several people frustrated with the money that they're getting back from FEMA, sometimes only a few hundred dollars. Did the governor address that today? Yeah, the governor says there's been some miscommunication that the initial dollar amount that some storm victims are receiving would actually be the final amount. For some people, that may not be the case. The governor says if you got anywhere between $179 and $195, he says that is most likely to pay for a contractor. Talk to FEMA. It may well be they're paying for a contractor to come out and to give you an estimate. And after you receive the estimate, you know, go they say file an appeal, go to the Disaster Recovery Center, give them the estimate and get it added to your claim. As for the relief bill, it's expected to be reported out of committee tomorrow, allowing both houses to vote on it. Governor Bashir has indicated he will likely sign the bill into law Friday afternoon. Live at the state capitol, I'm Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News.